Hello, OAS family. We're here with another book review today, and today we are going to be reviewing Painting Cat and Tiger by Shi Po Yun. So before we get into the details of the book, uh, the basic statistics, the book is eight and a quarter inches wide by 11 and three quarter inches tall, and it is has approximately 122 pages and instruction in both Chinese and English. So without further ado, we're gonna just dive right into the book here. So start off with uh, the idea of the subject by the author, talks about cats and tigers and their differences. Uh, and now we get into the section on painting cats where he talks a little bit about the anatomy. And then here, about the general face structure. This is super important and it's a discipline uh, when it comes to any drawing anything in real life. Uh, you wanna just uh, think about it as uh, more simple shapes. It's just uh, more complex things are just a collection of very simple shapes. So that's what he's showing here as far as the face of the cat. Now you can see as you start to fill in more detail, the subject starts to come to life. Talks about different types of eyes and the rendering style there. And spending more time here on the details of the faces of the cats. Expressions, yawning. Details about the ears and noses and mouths. Paws and tails. All right, and then here we have some rough kind of sketches. And then a more stylized rendering there. And then takes you through kind of like what will be a star of a final composition that we'll see soon with the sort of rough kind of line work there as he fills in the detail. Then we get the color. And then finally we see there him completing the final composition. We see the star of our cat grabbing that butterfly. There's another final composition. We've seen this scene at our house quite many, quite a lot of times where See, cat has gotten into some flowers. And then here's another example where he builds sort of the star up from the more basic outlines till it's filled in, and then you see it in the final composition. And once again, a different sort of coloration of cat. And you see, oh yeah, it's looking into a goldfish bowl. Then we go through this sequence where he sort of works up the star of a final painting and shows you the detail of how to do that and then shows you it in the context of the final painting. This is my favorite coloring on the cat, that sort of calico pattern. Really does a lovely job capturing that sort of curiosity. Some different faces there, different gestures. Some more, you see such variety of coloring. Once you get the basics down, you really have the opportunity to render all these different types of cats with kind of similar strokes and similar technique. Now we're getting into kind of a library of final compositions. It's very iconic with that ball of yarn.
All right, so now we're gonna get into the section on tigers. So you see that the section is broken down in a similar way. You see kind of like these rough anatomical studies and then the sort of shape study. And then we get into sort of how the line work and the detail is kind of filled in. Focusing on the eyes in particular here. And the face over here. The mouth. This is sort of like the crown of the head. Paws and tail. So larger sort of standing tigers in this kind of profile sort of view. Sitting straight on and then overhead. It's sort of like workup of the back legs and then different positions here, side views, front views, from behind. Now a shape study on this sort of standing profile view. And different sketches and how they're filled in. Some line work here. Filling it in, more and more detail, a couple stages. Now we have a white tiger. Work up and then in the final composition. Tiger cubs, how adorable, my goodness. Tiger pair. Roaring look there. Some final compositions. You can see that these tigers are right at home in these kind of Chinese style landscapes. Love that one where he's sort of playing in the river. Waiting. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the book here. And again, we finish with this flurry of kind of final compositions. So you can see kind of the body of work of the artist, all of his masterpieces. So there we go. All right, so that is Painting Cat and Tiger. Thanks again for tuning in for this book review. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Oh, as an aside note, uh, we have this really great paper that we're reintroducing called Double Schwen AO. And it's a wonderful, um, has wonderful qualities. It's a, first of all, it's a vintage paper. Uh, it's now, as of the filming of this video, the paper is 21 years old. It's been in our warehouse for that long, and it's aged and settled down quite nicely, but it um, does produce around the edges of strokes, lovely dithering that, that produces the suggestion of fur. So um, if you're uh, interested in getting this book and exploring tigers or any animal subjects, I would uh, take a look, uh, check out that paper, Double Schwen AO. So thanks for tuning in for the book review, and I hope you have a wonderful day and happy painting.